Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm here with Super Robot Wars 30, a game that I've been super interested in and a series that I've been super interested in getting into and never been able to get into because they don't get translated over here except for some random DS games and I want to play this game. <laughs> okay, with that enough preamble, let's go in. I've never played any one of these, so I assume it's good. If you don't know what Super Robot Wars 30 is, it's um a way to get all the mecha and mech anime in the world into one playable thing. Misty. Let's turn the game beginning mode. Mode for want to take it easy with... Well, I don't want to take it easy. Some experience? I guess I'll go with normal mode. Male, female, lonesome girl, carefree wanderer. A man who's been wandering the world. He seems to have a devil make care attitude and possesses piercing insight. He's traveling the world alone. Loof Billy's an iron will. I'll go with girl. Can I change her name? Her last name is... Girl. Uh, first name... Maximum. And her nickname is... Book. Yeah. Yeah. Birthday is in fact on 420 and her blood type is... I don't know why that matters, but okay. <laughs> um, the location of small select area. The small Federation forces base include a military academy. The surrounding area is under the siege of the Kijaku Army. Initial uh, series: Combatler V, Brave uh, Police J Decker, etc. This is Mobile Suit Gundam V. I'll go with this one because it has Mobile Suit Gun. Well, actually, I'll go with Far East. Sure. This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance of actual persons living or deceased places, groups, or instances are purely coincidental. These Gundams are not real. Yellow? Almost gotta control the volume. I'm also positive that uh, my channel is gonna get dinged by something. I just hope that uh, I'm able. you're able to see this. <laughs> Japan, notoriously not the greatest when it comes to having their games shared all right let's go there hopefully it's not too loud it's not louder than me and it's all good new space era 100 oh that's bad that dies hmm. sounds like the plot of a gundam I've never watched more than the first five episodes of Gundam. And the clip, Burning Finger. But I know war is bad. I should also be talking so that I can tell Bandai that I'm not trying to um, monetize this. Be just the video alone, I'm actually doing so. My ship. Earth Federation Military Academy 30. So, there's been fighting here too. Miss, are you trying to hide here too? Oh no, I'm traveling. I guess I am running though, so I'm not all that different from you. I don't really know what's going on. Do you know if things are bad outside Ominato too? Yeah, yeah, it's all the same. Shit sucks. All over Japan, there's a mysterious Kijaku... Ki Kikaju... Kikaiju? Yeah, I know Kaiju. Kikaiju army going crazy. Kijaku, I think, is com something com completely different. And Ninjago is, of course, the ninjas that are Legos. Why is the world so bad? I just don't know. Feels like everyone's forgotten even the, the idea of peace over the last ten years. What happened in the last ten years? Can I see... Don't... Oh, yeah, why? Okay. Shit. No. Okay, yes. What happened in the last 10 years? This refers to the period of conflict between the NSC 190 and 100. This era of turmoil was thought to have been the defeat of Emperor Lelouch. <laughs> Wait, Lelouch is in this game? <laughs> Who had overthrown the Earth Federation. 
And the idea that's going to be funny if this faction is like from Code Geass and I don't remember it. All I really remember from Code Geass is Lelouch, CC, and someone makes love to a table. End of the second Neo the Neo Zeon War. However, the situation became unstable once again following the Laplace box incident, reigniting the flames of war once throughout the world. Following in a brief timeline of this period, the one year war caused by the Principality of Zeon's Declaration of Independence. Oh god. Oh shit, the hell uprising caused by Dr. <laughs> Dr. Hell. Followed by the Mikia War, the Lunar Conflict against the Invader, the Primordial War against the 31 Machine. This all happened in 10 years. The simultaneous occurrence of the event surely weakened the Earth Federation in SC-92. The first contact with the Wulgaru or the Jupiter Spear. The war between the Wulgaru is still ongoing and is slowed down to recovery of the Earth Spear. In SC-97, the Griff War is between the Titans and the Og. The first Neo-Zeon War. The political instability of the Earth Spear. How long is this? Okay, it's not very long. Um, the play against the of the Earth Sphere, followed by the Holy Britannia army, one of the world's major powers, is further the rise of power as well as causing widespread insurrections. The interstellar campaign against the invading alien forces, the second neo Zeon War, did, did not take long for them to have another one. The assassination of Emperor Lelouch, the anti-Earth Federation action enacted by the Black Knights, with the conclusion of the aforementioned events, mankind enter a period of peace. The concept that has almost been forgotten by times this period is known as the Miraculous Year. Miraculous. That's not how you... Miracle? Miraculous. That's not right. Anyway, the third neo Zeon War, the Plast Box Incident. This event completely broke the already tenuous authority of the Earth Federation, followed by the Zanskir Empire to rise to power. Alright. It's all because of the EFF failed us. Oh dear, what were they supposed to do? There's been non-stop fighting since the One Year War. Uh, Alright, so... War sparked by the Principality of Zeon's Declaration of Independence for the Earth Federation. The Earth uh, ended with the capture of the Space Fortress Solomon, the fall of A. Bakuakui, and the death of the Zabi family and the leaders of Zeon. <laughs> the Hell Uprising, the Mercury War, the Lunar Conflict, and then Primeval, Primeval War. I want to see if this is more related to Dr. Hell. A series of battles against the genius scientist Dr. Hell and his mad ambitions of world conquest, Dr. Hell sent his kid Kaiju to attack various locations under the command of Baron Ashura, uh, Count Brocken, and his other followers, but they were all defeated by the concentrated efforts of Mazinger Z and the pilot. Oh, it's from Mazinger Z. Koji Kabuto, in the end, Dr. Hell was killed, and the battle finally drew to a close. Even once those ended, the conflicts between Earth and space continued to rage, and then the whole thing with Laplace Box happened to two. When Emperor Lelouch was slain, we thought we'd finally have some place. What happened to the Lelouch? Okay, he's the 99th Emperor. Easy. But instead of the Federation completely lost any trust the people still had in it. And now over on side 2, some idiots call themselves the Zanscare, mobilizing and sending troops down to Earth. <laughs> some fucking morons. Uh, this is too much. I would read this all off while I was by myself, but on top of all that, all those Wulgaru aliens are attacking. What's going to happen to us? Shit's bad. When they put it out like this, it really seems like they're in some shit predicament. Hey, come on, cheer up a bit. No time for sad faces. You're such a sweetie. You don't need to waste that face on a frown, okay? Sweetie. I'm one of the students here at the Military Academy 30. I'm guiding the refugees to where they need to be. Sweetie, do you have a dad or mom you need me to help you find? No, I don't have any family. I don't need to be called sweetie either. I'm not that young. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm pretty used to being alone and being treated like a kid. Well, since I've already, <laughs> since I'm already being a jerk, mind if I ask you a favor? What is it? Would you mind helping me direct these evacuees? This is a military academy, right? So you are helping these people because the military says so? No, not at all. Our student council president decided to help them herself. Honestly, without everything as chaotic as it is, the EFF's chain of command is a wreck anyway. So the president said we need to do what we can for now while we wait for orders. That's very noble. I know, right? New students like me all admire the heck out of her, let me tell you. I didn't just mean her, you're very noble too. You made your own decision to agree to help all you chose to act on your own, all for someone else's sake. I think that's pretty incredible. Aw, oh, that's really nice of you to say. Honestly, it's just kind of how we do things here at the Academy. I'd still really like to help us though. Are you sure we're safe here? This place right next to the EFF base isn't going to get attacked. 
The president's worried about that too, but the fact is we do have fortified shelters and such. We can't offer any guarantees, but we can't. what we can do is the best we can. Do what you can, the best you can is our president's catchphrase, after all. Do what you can, the best you can. That's nice, I like it. Yeah, now let's get to work. Smiles and sunshine. Aha, there you are, Leon. What's wrong, Jiquan? Did you finish leading the people over in Block 2? About that, there's an emergency summons for the cadets. What? Seems like the broadcast didn't make it over here, so I came to tell you directly. Get the operating team together and head to Gate 12. But if they're calling up us, if they're calling up a, up us cadets, that probably means no point in dwelling on it. It's do or yeah, I'll be ready. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta get going. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about me. I'll try and do what I can the best I can myself. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Leon Amberd. I'm Leon Amberd. I hope we meet again. Cheese bird. I'm Maximum Girl. I hope you'll stay safe. Yeah, well, I'd best get going. Later then, you take care, Maximum Girl. She's Maximum Girl. She's the most girl that there's ever been in any mech. Everyone really is doing everything they can do. Everyone really is doing everything they can do. I don't know why I said that so weird. That's Siren. I guess there must be another kid kaiju coming. Is there's... If there's really a fight, all these refugees, they're gonna die. Oh, that was the music that was playing. The They're about to get murked completely. Omenada Base, Secret Underground Dock. They're speaking. I wondered why they called us up suddenly, but where exactly have they brought us? The Operations Mechanical and Technical Department looks like every remaining student in the Academy. Is it okay for us to be here? Seemed like the base was getting attacked. Two different crises, I guess. Let's just enjoy the party for now, hmm? Uh, sure. Isn't this thrilling, though? A secret dock underneath the Yamato base? I had no idea. She seems, uh, pumped. And she's also the right kind of nerdy girl. One with <laughs> slightly open top, busty, and also down below open. The ultimate disheveled. Oh, my curiosity's just begging to be set loose. Well, maybe. You're really- I don't know why I said that like it was Gumby. You're really earning that Mad Scientist of Omanata title today. I guess I respect how you can be so thrilled by all this when you're- we're all one robot attack from death. Aw, oh, thanks, Lee. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, for- stop calling me that already. So here's a question for you, Maeve. Isn't this dock a little too big? Good eyes, Yakuan. You're not the ace of the mechanic department for nothing. What do you mean? Of all the FF ships, the largest of the General Reveal is about 600 meters. And by the look of it, the jocks built to accommodate a ship significantly bigger than that. What? I really hope that the music isn't completely drowning me out, so now I'm gonna put it a little bit lower. Trial and tribulate, because now the music all of a sudden is fucking kicking in. There we go. It's like Master Duel. Maybe all Japanese games are built this way. It does. It's waiting for you right beyond that gate. Though, to be honest, even we only learned about it moments ago. Instructor Reynolds. So you got calling into you, Instructor. I'm not your instructor anymore. I've been assigned to the post of Executive Officer. Executive Officer? That's right, which means... Walk, walk, walk. I'm your captain, Mitsuba Gray Valley. These are some amazing names. President Mitsuba. The student council president is the captain. What's all this about? What's all this about then? Listen, everyone. I fucked that up. All personnel here as of this moment have been commissioned as the crew of the cutting edge all-purpose combat mothership Dre Stracker. They said it in the opening cutscene, but I just could not remember it. Cutting edge all-purpose combat mothership is a Stracker. We'll have time for explanations later. XO, begin embarking the crew immediately, please. Aye, aye, captain. Whoa. Damn, the enemy attacks are giving us shakes even down here. All hands, let's board the Dry Stragger. Following your terminal's instructions to find your posting. That's a lot to ask us out of the blue. No complaining, all hands do what you can, the best you can. Our first mission is to get the Dry Stragger launched, and we have to get it done. Yeah. Alright, there we go. A journey's beginning. Hmm. <laughs> I'm ready. And 
now here's the actual gameplay. What's our situation? Seems there's been a delay in loading our ships assigned to Mech. I was told the pilot was among the casualties. There's no point in waiting for it to be loaded. The pilot was part of what casualties? The entire assigned crew of the Dress Dragger died in a battle before reaching a motto base. <gasps> That's why they're trying to crew the ship with a load of cadets. That's insane! Calm down, Leon. We need you to focus on being the main operator right now. We also need you to keep the ship safe at any cost. That's the only thing we can do for the dead crew, and it also helps keep the light of hope strong in the entire EFF. We are getting fucked. Mitsuba, the enemy has noticed our dock. We don't have anything we can send out to intercept them? No, no, we don't. The base's entire complement of Jagans and Ichinanas was destroyed between the last two battles. Leon, report all ship sections. It still takes a few minutes before we're ready to launch. We don't have a few minutes. This can't be. Are we going to die here without ever accomplishing anything? Wrong, because here comes Maximum Girl. I assume, anyway. This mech. It's hidden away so deep underground that there's no one guarding it. Looks like a new model, but a lot of the armor looks jury-rigged on. The tape almost looked like bandages. Maybe it was damage and testing is still being repaired. And this visor on its face, it almost looks like a blindfold. Covered in scars, blind to the future, just like me. Girl, you do not have any scars on you. Not that I can see, anyway. No, hold on, there's a machine attacking the Kajaju from the hangar. Wait, I thought we had no working machines. That's... This machine, I thought so, it's not a mobile suit. And the main reactor is disabled, I think this machine can run on auxiliary power. The Huckabin 30? The Huckabin 30? It's a machine set scheduled to be deployed with this ship. It's part of a cutting-edge category of machines called the Personal Troopers. But who in the hell is piloting it? Leon, get me the pilot. Right. It's Maximum Girl. <laughs> Someone's calling the phone. Huh? Oh, a communication. Huckabin 30 pilot, please respond. Oh, please say you're friendly. That voice, is that you, Leon? Wookie? Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Is that really you piloting that thing? Yeah. There's a civilian piloting it? Now hold on a sec. How in the world did you get in here? I went over to the base, but everything was a mess, so I was able to get over to the hangar where the robot was stored. Uh, I figured this was the only way to, well, help. Do you really think we're going to believe something like that? I'm sorry. I, um... Oh, uh, uh... Please, we're not angry at you. It's just... Just get out of here. We can't let a civilian engage in combat. I refuse. Wait, are you going to engage the enemy with that machine? It's the only way to protect our academy. Very well. Mitsubo, what are you thinking? Right now, I am the captain. I'm the captain now. I have the right to use the ship's complement as I see fit. Can you hear me over there? Just buy us a little time. Okay. Wee. She's handling the 30 so well. That girl. Who in the world? So this suit's name is Huckabin 30, huh? Stay, uh, please stay safe, Wokey, sweetie. I told you not to call me sweetie. Wokey will do fine. That's what my family called me. When it weren't calling me Maximum Girl. Okay, Wokey, just stay safe anyway. Wokey, we're counting on you. I'll do what I can, the best I can. Please, Huckabin 30, let me wield your strength. Alright, defeat all enemies. Any allied ship shot down. The enemy in this missions aren't very strong. Try things out to see how it works and have fun. Okay. An area mission is completed, completed by fulfilling one or more victory conditions on the map. You can check victory conditions on your objectives. When there are multiple victories or defeat, fulfilling by one of them means victory or defeat. Tip, since a blue victory condition is the final one, we should spare no SP, EN, ammo, or abilities to achieve it. If you don't understand any game mechanics at any point, remember that they're usually laid out in the tutorial, so review them whenever you need. Uh, okay. Interesting. All right, move. Attack. Yeah, I'll go with Beam Sword. I didn't need to be right next to him, but I am right next to him. No, I don't, I don't want the animations on. Okay. Spirit, what is this? I'm just going to start battle. What's wrong with me? Why am I helping these people so much? Well, at least I don't feel like I'll regret it. As I can hear by my theme song bumping in the background. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. 
I can feel my channel getting taken down, <laughs> but I don't care. A good theme song. I'm gonna put it now louder now, because honestly, if you guys can't hear that, it's a shame. Yeah. Alright, I guess I end my turn? Yes. Oh no, my music stopped. <laughs> and he did not instantly die, so that makes me feel like... Okay, start battle. Let me see some spirits. We need to use this. I don't know what that did, but let's see. I got in the chat. very well, but she's just one machine. Don't worry, Matsuba, or Captain, we've got reinforcements. I need Chidana, but it's just one machine. This is Koji Kabuto with the new Fountain Power Laboratory. Where are we? I'm here answering your distress calls. No way, is that the Koji Kabuto? Like, Mazen and Gersi? <laughs> Why in the world is Koji Kabuto here? We'll chat later. First, it's time to scrap some Kikaiju. I'm digging this fucking, like, old-timey-ass music. Some good music. I should really get into some more Mac mech anime. Koji Kabuto, the hero of the Hell Uprising in the Mescaline War. That's the past. Get your head here now, because we got plenty to do. Why aren't you piloting Mazing Mazinger Z? Don't worry about it. My Ichinan is a personally tuned specialty. It's got repair equipment installed, too. Trust me, it's not going to have a problem with some stray Kikaiju. Alright, thank you for helping. With Dr. Hell dead and gone, who in the world's con controlling the Kakaiju? Damn it, who's behind you all? Alright, let's see what you got, my dude. Let's see, can I attack? Mazinger Blade. Breast Fire? That sounds pretty alright to me. I'm going to use. This is that cost me energy? I'm going to use it on this guy. 
start battle. Come on, Kukaiju, I don't know what's ho who's holding your reins, but as long as I'm here, your plans will all come to nothing. That's cool that it's all voice. Yeah, that's about what I expect from a breast laser. Yeah, that guy's dead. Kukaiju, gone. Take that and your stupid fucking axe. Long range energy axe. <laughs> Alright, let's see. AX action, what is this? Oh, I can't do that right now. Oh, I have to get range or something? Let's see, detail. Alright, I can't do that right now, so it's fine. Uh, attack, 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 attack. I may as well hit him with a beam forward. This guy I know for sure is going to die, so I'm going to hit him first. No, you're dead. You're going to get killed by the giant sword. Nice. It's critical, too. Like, classic uh, kaiju anything, it blows up right away. Watch out, here's more. Oh god. Oh no, they're going to... Oh shit. I was supposed to be defending that. No! We're fucked. Just draw your bridge. Gua! Leanne, status port. They're fucking us. The engine crew reports that the main drive is standing by at normal levels. We're ready then, let's go. Destroyer, engage, set sail. Does that mean it's actually gonna fight now? That's... <gasps> a giant battleship? That is Earth's hope. Destroyer, hard over, prepare the multi-cannon turrets for firing. Destroyer, hard cover, prepare the multi-cannon targets for fire. We, we're going to do it for our planets tomorrow! Shoot him up, shoot him up, shoot him up. Yeah, I don't know how you just don't run away from this. Like, that little dude is completely fun. <laughs> that shield is gonna shield nothing. Yeah, it's, it's completely fun. How does it survive this? It shouldn't. There we go. <laughs> okay. No, you're gone, dude. Nice try, though. Does it did it destroy multiple of them? Yeah, it fucked them up. That's amazing. We've confirmed the destruction of all Kakaiju reinforcements. Destroy your hard about link up with all the allies and exterminate all remaining Kakaiju. Whee! I'm here, too. So you kept the ship safe, that's good. No, Wookie, we all did. You're included in that. Huh? You're part of what kept the Destroyer safe, and our planet's future with it. No, I was just... We'll prove it with the Destroyer. Destroyer! Commence attack, it's time to turn the tables. The music is bumping, it's completely drowning me out, but it's okay. I refuse to put it down, we all do this to the purpose we've been entrusted with. Ooh, Jakaya maybe says my support? That's nice. Can I just shoot them? Yes, I can. The 75mm 5 barrel Gatling Cannon. This all sounds great, uh, sounding. Go. <laughs> yeah, let me just completely blow you out of the sky. All hands, remember, now that you're aboard the Destroyer, you have to give 100% to our mission. We're all afraid and we're all anxious, and I ask you that you have a strong enough heart to swallow that fear. Aye, aye, Captain. From this day forward, our lives are in my hands. Target the, the Kakaiju directly ahead. Target the Kakaiju directly ahead. Destroyer, commence attack! I mean, this little thing is completely fucked. 
I'm also in the general direction of this little thing, so I should have really gotten the hell out of the way. No. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, you are gone. Ow. I feel no pain. But I do feel explosion. Oh, yeah. And now I guess we are good to... What does supporters mean? Store... Ooh. May as well heal right now. Hurda! Alright, end phase. Why is it targeting that? It knows for a fact it cannot counter. Yeah, okay, with the Gatling guns. It's dead. I don't know why it's trying to live. I'm gonna do my best! Eat axe! I mean, it can't dodge. I'll give him that. And it still found a way to dodge. I knew where they were aiming. There's no time to consider the possibility of failure. Open up. Ah, damn it. That really hurt. But it didn't kill him. Alright, my turn. Let me see, can I finally... I can use Leap Slasher. Sweet. This is the last move of the, what, uh, what? What? Why? Why no move? There it is. Okay. Start battle. I want to see what this move is. Whoa! I got a special up close clip shot. Up a uh, close up shot. Yeah, she ain't gonna miss. Ah! Well, I tried. I'm dead. They even changed the song. It's a new song. Level up for me, which is nice. All Kakaji units have been eliminated. We did it. We really did it. It's all of us. Yes, Captain. Mission successful. I don't think we can celebrate. <gasps> da -da 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 -da. Is Dr. Hell here? What in the... They're not Kakaiju, that's for sure. We're not getting an AFF. I doubt they're Federation, though. They're attacking. We're under attack. Fine, we got no choice. Engage them. Don't push yourself, okay? If you need, fall back. Hey, you okay? Not a word of reason or cause. Just forcing their demands and desires on others. I hate people like that so much. All units, commence attack. No matter the foes, the destroyer cannot accept defeat. Defeat all enemies. Fulfill blue victory condition will count as clearing the map. Okay. Wait, why can't my dude here? Okay, yeah, he can move. Can you attack, though? What's one of your EX actions? Damn it, I don't have enough. Okay, fine. I'm gonna move in, though. Can I attack? Yes, with the Mazinger Blade. Start battle. What is this? These things might just be tougher than some form of Kakaiju. So what? So what? Now we've got even more enemies like we needed that. He's got a very uh, no human brain will lose out to an AI. Cool. Nice sword though. Nice long range sword. <laughs> Is that a Gundam? No. It's not a Gundam. I'm dumb. The enemy things are not called Gundams, they're called something else. Dodge. Easy. Alright, I'm gonna focus the fire on that guy. Yep. Completely. Captain, the enemy machine doesn't match anything in our databanks. The unknown seems to be targeting the Striker. Gather as much data as possible. An enemy we have no data on, and on that seems to have a known about the ship's existence? 
Well, whatever it is, it's about to get completely boned by the particle beam I'm about to shoot it in its face. I mean, if it's 5 this, then damn, this thing's powerful. Like, what do you do in this situation? Like, get in close? This thing's built like a Elden Ring's boss. Well, in that case, then yes, the answer is, in fact, just get very close. Or use magic. There you go. Boom. Use magic. Did it dodge? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, don't I look stupid. Wow. That would actually don't damage too. Get to the port side frames 30 and 60. Oh no, it's hitting us in our FPS count. It really is an Elder Rings boss. Alright, and though. Oh shit, did I forget to move my girl? God damn it. Let me defend. Um, yeah, I figured it was gonna hit, but didn't deal any damage. Didn't deal very much damage. Yeah, this should be 100%. Like she said. This machine, it's so strong. But even more, I can't place it, but it feels creepy. I mean, it is a machine of war. It's do or die. Let's work. I like how she says Leap Slasher. You better not miss this after she says that. As far as I'm concerned, this thing has 100% hit rate accuracy because she says this thing better not miss. God, really? Oh, bastard. Oh, was it defending itself? No, it wasn't. Dodge. Yeah. Too slick. If it doesn't hit me, it can't kill me. Just accurate. <laughs> Very accurate. Oh, you can melee? I kind of want to throw hands. Come on, throw hands. I need to see him punch it. Come on. Is it really going to just punch it in the face? <laughs> it kind of. <laughs> we kicked it in its non-existent robot dick. I just realized this thing is all dick because it doesn't really have arms. So it's all waist down. Ooh, level two. The Destriger's main system just analyzed the pilot and produced a skill program. Seriously, this ship is absurd. It's as if the ship's trying to improve its crew. I think I'm actually kind of excited to see where this war goes. That's not a good thing to say. Confirmed, one unknown down. We've uh, also determined that they're unmanned. You're telling me that such powerful combat machines have no pilots? Is the enemy a scout unit? Are they here for the Destriger? All good questions that will not be answered. Oh, my morale isn't high enough to do this? Alright. Missile canisters. I kinda wanna see what this looks like. Start battle. How do I get my morale up? That seems like a way harder thing to take control of. There's no time to consider the possibility of failure. Just shoot the shit out of it. Jesus. Come on, I can't dodge all this, right? Yeah! Unfortunately, it did not fully get destroyed. And now it's gonna shoot back with its tiny little. Boop, boop, boop. Deals nothing. Ow. I say that, but it actually did. No, real fun. In phase! Oh, really? It's gonna attack me. Well, I'm gonna counterattack and whoop your ass, son. Well, I actually can't kill it this turn, but it's fine. Ow. It didn't do that much damage. Maximum girl. Hit him with the maximum power. AKA, just shoot at it. Really? You missed? 
How did you miss? Come on, girl. Hmm, let me see. Is your attack from who I haven't seen? Breast fire and the machine gun. I'm just gonna use breast fire and see what happens. It has a potential to, I think, kill it if it deals with the- Oh, no, it doesn't. Koji is extremely confident that he can just whoop this shit thing's ass. Yeah, he's right so far. Jeez. But the thing is gonna shoot back with its pew pew lasers. I do like that instead of talking, it shows its visor go like anime guy, anime smart guy with the glasses. Ooh, level three. Nice. All right, where are you? Oh, did she already attack? Go with this, and hope to God this is the end of it. The other thing may have been able to dodge, but come on. Don't dodge it now. Don't dodge me, bro. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Yeah, didn't dodge this time, dick. You dead. Goodbye. Death. Alright, we're good. Oh, that's why she wanted okay, so he she could reach level two. <laughs> Makes sense. All unknowns have been eliminated. We still don't know what a clue who or what they were all we know is. They're powerful fighters. No, they're incredibly powerful fighters. That's what. Thank you very much, Koji. I'd very much like you to thank you in person if you're willing to dock with our ship. Roger, Captain. I'd like to see a bit of that ship myself anyway. Thank you too, Woki. I was always told to be kind to those in need, so I tried. Are you embarrassed? I'm not, no. It's thanks to you that we were able to get the Shrager launched. Allow me to thank you for that. It also needed to give you back your 30, right? Absolutely. Leon, guide Woki into dock. Aye aye, ma'am. Press of work, Mitsuba. You have that civilian by the leash. She used the military equipment without authorization. Once she's off the machine, she'll just we'll just arrest her. No, that ain't happening. Fuck you, whoever you are, Reynold. Eat shit. I just saved your ass. Just strike her hanger one. So you're maximum girl. You're so young. How on earth did you don't treat me like I'm a child. I will be 16 soon, for your information. I see. XO, I'll thank you not to be rude to our rescuer. Captain, I'd like to remind you that she used the Huckabee 30 without, without permission. She had permission. I explicitly permitted it, didn't I? I, well, I suppose. Yeah, get fucked, bitch. Aren't I going to be punished? Well, let me ask you. Do you think you did something that deserves punishment? I mean, yeah. I did take your machine without permission. I just didn't really see any other option with how things were going, so... You're right, and because you did, your actions saved the Earth, really. Wait a minute, Miss President, or my apologies, Captain. You're overselling this a bit, aren't you? No, fuck you, whoever you are. I saved your ass. Absolutely not. The Destroyer is the EFF's trump card. She saved the Destroyer functionally. She saved the entire Earth. Thank you, Wookie. As this ship's captain and as such an individual, you have my deepest gratitude. Captain, I must insist we can't just let her off without a punishment. Any further judgment has, has to come from our superiors. I'll advocate on her behalf, of course. You won't be alone in that, Captain. Mr. Kabuto. Let me remind you in case you forgot, a civilian jumping into a cutting-edge machine in an emergency without permission and fighting the enemy? Last time I checked, there's a precedent for how that's supposed to go. Huh? So what happened to them? Nothing. He continued to help the EFF out, and the whole thing ended up becoming too messy to act on. Mind you, he wasn't super thrilled about it. Wait, I know who that is. That's the hero of the One Year War. Yep, the White Meteor himself, Amuro Ray. I'm nothing like a celebrity like that. You're damn right you're not. For one thing, Amuro back then was a big, br brusque jerk. Well, you're cute as a button. Please don't tease me. I don't think we should uh, have any problems with EFF Commander with your help, Koji. 
Wilkie, we'll do everything we can, so you don't need to worry, okay? Thank you so much. We should be on the ones thanking you, in fact. Thank you, Wilkie. No. I just I just wanted to do something to help like you all were doing, Leon. Oh, Wilkie. Well then, Captain, we should report the results of the battle to the headquarters. Agreed. We also need to ask for further orders anyway. There will be no need for that. That voice. All hands, I am Commander Fikes Blackwood, head of the Destroyer Construction Project. First things first, I'd like to congratulate you all on the successful launching of the Destroyer under such harsh conditions. Commander Fikes Blackwood, the man who tossed a bunch of barely trained military academy students into the crew of a top secret battleship himself. On top of that, he heads up the construction project of the ship as well. Just how much power does he hold in the military, I wonder? I've already received reports of your situation and I've also been informed of the civilian who piloted the Huckabee 30 without permission. As you are all likely aware, the Earth's Federation forces are facing an unprecedented challenge. The Destroyer is our key to overcoming that and its maturation is our highest priority. That's why you tapped in the new Photon Power Laboratory for help and sent me over to Omanato. Assigning a group of students as a special detachment to crew the ship is also part of that. Commander Fikes, I would like to request that you explain our next mission plan to us. The Destroyer is an all-purpose combat mothership, built with the assumption that it would carry an entirely autonomous corp. To put it simply, you will not be integrated into the existing military chain of command. So, you are hereby ordered to develop the Destroyer as you see fit in the Far East region. What does that mean, specifically? Thinking about what that means and taking what you see as the best course of action to that end is your directive. I will transfer documents on the Destroyer to the functionality of each section and other necessary files to your main computer. This is ridiculous, we're all just still students. No, you're not. No, you're no longer students, you need to understand that. Furthermore, I will not take any further questions on this matter. Commodore, what should we do about the civilian who com commandeered the Huckleberry 30? Commander Matsuba, let me turn that question on you instead. What would you do? As you yourself said, the development of the ship is the key to overcoming the current situation and the highest priority are the EFF. Though we had no way to know that, that at the time, the fact is that her defense of the ship with the Huckabee 30 was in line with that goal. I believe we should, as an exception, dismiss the matter without any punishment. Your logic is impeccable, however, the Huckabee 30 is part of the Destroyer project and furthermore is a military property. Unfortunately, pardoning a civilian who uses it is off the table. Understood, sir. In that case, I would like to place her under my supervision. Huh? That The fact is is that we have no suitable person from the Academy to act as pilot. I would like her to serve as the Huckabee 30's pilot as a civilian attache. Do you believe she's deserving of that role? I believe that's what we'll have to find out as we go. However, I have faith in our pilot will at least do their best to be deserving of it. Yeah, for what it's worth, I concur with this idea. Thank you, Koji. And what about you? Are you okay with this? As long as I get paid. Great, that settles it. Commander Bensuba, if that is your judgment, then I will respect it. Thank you very much. Well then, everyone, I would like to say, despite the emergency, I am saddened that we must place a mission like this upon your shoulders. I assure you that our project headquarters will provide you with whatever support we can. The salvation of Earth and the humans who live on it are on your shoulders. I pray for your victory. Hell yeah! Come on, Destroyer, let's save a planet already. Uh, well, that's going to be hard if we don't make a good use of the AOS system. What? What the heck is an AOS? The Advanced Organic Organizational Operation System. It's pretty much what it says on the tin. It's basically the ship's organic computer OS. It's one heck of a thing and a heck of a name, just what you'd expect with the Commodore attached to the project, I guess. The Destroyer can use the OS to apply various effects to the personnel machines under its command. It'll be fundamental to our tactical planning. Part of our mission is to help the AOS mature into a mature system, which involves acquiring a great deal of data with the ship and our units. The data we collect can be converted to MXP, PP, and credits. MXP is like experience shared by the whole team. We can use it to implement AOS updates. PP is combat data for our pilot's performance. We can progress to produce skill programs to train them. Credits are material currency. We collect them for destroying an enemy mech and they're used to upgrade our mechs and weapons. So yeah, we can improve our team's power using our MXP, PP, and credits. And don't you forget that the AOS updated before we can tinkering with our mechs. Gotcha. All hands, you heard our com uh, com commander. Starting today, we set off a journey of battle. 
As the Commodore said, our battle, the Destroyer's battle, is to save humanity. If we're going to live up to that standard, there's only one thing we must do. We must do what we can in the very best we can. Woo! Yeah, the people cheer. These people have a duty. I wonder, where will that duty take them if I try to help them with it? All good things to think about. Earth Federation Forces High Ranking Officers Quarters. So the Striker's Endless Journey has begun. Of course, I understand. I realize it is Earth's only hope. Yes, indeed. All I can do now is place it in their hands. This planet Earth and a tomorrow for all humanity. He looks like someone who would be a pilot. Okay, total report. Units lost, zero. Credits gain, EXP gain, parts... Uh, wait, I can lose units? Alright. Mission rewards, thank you. And... I don't... I'm trying to see... Okay. You obtain the following bonuses for playing the Steam version. Power, parts, booster, high performance radar, and iris feather acquired. Gain 75,000, gain 750. Yeah, damn, okay, thank you. I don't know why I deserve all that just for playing on Steam, but thanks. Alright, let's save. Great save, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the game. This seems pretty cool. I'll probably keep playing, see how it goes. Thanks for watching all almost an hour of this. <laughs> Thanks a bunch if you made it this far. I kind of want to get into mech anime real bad, but I just don't know where to start. I feel like the answer would be to start at Gundam, but then I don't know where to go from there. But anyway, see the end of the video, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Peace out.